Then in 1937, war broke out with Japan. Because America was not yet at war with Japan, relations between the two nations were perhaps not friendly, but at least cordial. Nevertheless, the mission was in a war zone, and the Wampler home was bombed. When she heard the approaching airplanes, Elizabeth took Jean from his afternoon nap in this crib and carried him downstairs. As she and her two sons crouched between the downstairs windows, the bomb landed in the courtyard, and the room was filled with dust and debris. Elizabeth was holding Jean, so she knew that he was okay, but she couldn't see Joe. Then, from the confusion, she heard a voice ask, Mommy, am I dead? And she knew that Joe was alive. From their destroyed home, they moved to a cave home in He Jiajuang, or He Family Village, with Bingo waiting for his master to come home. They stayed here for six weeks and then evacuated to Pingding. The American flag is to identify them as neutral citizens. Missionaries returned after World War II. They found most of the mission buildings destroyed, including the fine hospital in Pingding. Today, one of the few remaining mission buildings is the church in Liaozhou. The 1915 assembly room is now a restaurant. In larger cities, Christian congregations are active and growing. In smaller cities and villages, Christianity is less visible. Yet when we met an old gentleman playing checkers in Qinzhou and mentioned that we had lived there 70 years earlier, the gentleman said, Wong Musher, meaning Pastor Wampler. Joe asked if he had known Wong Musher, and the man replied, Everybody knew him and everybody loved him.